that Chad and, and Ty were together. In, in 98, uh, Ty had just come off two years with the Eagles, and, and Ty had passed for 4,500 yards, 22 touchdowns, started 18 games in those two years with Philly, 96-97. So he signs with the San Francisco 49ers. He signs with the 49ers where he would serve as the backup to another BYU great, Steve Young. Now, as Chad tells the story to me, Steve, of course, knew of Ty Denver, but he didn't really know Ty Denver. And he didn't know what to make of this BYU legend, Heisman Trophy winner, who was now coming to Steve's team to play the same position. Now, you wouldn't think that someone like Steve Young would be wary of someone like Ty, nice guy that he is, aw shucks and the whole thing. <laughs> but until you know a guy, you don't really know, you know what it's going to be like, even if he was a fellow Cougar. A fellow Cougar. And after all, Ty was really this BYU legend, um, even greater, you could say, than, than Steve Young himself in BYU's quarterback in Pantheon. And Chad tells me it was almost as if Steve felt kind of like a little bit threatened almost. If that sounds weird, future Hall of Famer Steve Young, threatened by anybody, Chad says no matter how long you've been in the National Football League, when another, when another player comes in at your position, you just watch your back a little bit, just natural. Anyways, the story goes, Ty goes to San Francisco, and it's no more than a day or two later that Steve calls Chad Lewis and says, and you got to imagine Chad saying it as animated as Chad gets, this is Steve Young now talking to Chad. Bro, why didn't you tell me that Ty Denver was the coolest guy in the world? <laughs> goes on and on and on, and Chad goes, I know, I know. Chad says, Ty made every practice, every meeting, every meal, every game more fun. There's a reason he lasted 14 years in the NFL. Yes, he had talent, but he was someone that players, and coaches, and GMs wanted on their team. NFL Films has done some great work, and they've done a few features of, of some of Ty's teams, I recall, uh, the Packers and 49ers in particular, where they've been either interviewing players together in a meeting, or they've been showing sidelines, getting microphone audio on the sidelines, and, and often there's, there's footage of Ty, and, and someone's always laughing around him about something Ty said or did. He was that kind of teammate. As a pro, certainly as a collegian, Ty was smart like a coach, he was mischievous, like a little brother, he was loyal, like a friend, and he was always, always humble. Chad told me Ty's greatness was in never believing he's as great as he really is. Ladies and gentlemen, BYU's all-time leading passer, Heisman Trophy winner, one of the best ambassadors Brigham Young University will ever have, number 14, Ty Detmer. <laughs>